Seth Lee. I'm a food and travel writer from SethLee.com from Singapore and I'm here in Bangkok thanks to ShopBack. Uh, if you need to book any flights or hotel accommodations, just go through ShopBack and you can get free cashback through the platform, as simple as that. So here we have Golf from Bangkok, who's going to show us around. My name is Golf. I'm a photographer and influencer from Thailand. We are in Jawalad. Jawalad is uh, used to be where the Chinese immigrant from their country, mm -hmm. so they're also known as uh, Chinatown. And now it's they very famous for street food. The street food? Yeah. yeah. And what kind of dishes? Yeah. That's like uh, Ladna and Kuejap. Kuejap, It's right. really famous. That's like some other stuff as well. Let's check yeah. out what they have to offer in Yaorat. So we're here at Kwa Pon Lamai to try this fried noodle that uh, golf has actually recommended. In Thai, we call it Ladna. Ladna. Yeah, Ladna Sen Kop. Sen Kop means uh, the type okay. of noodle that we prefer. This is a crispy, like the whole uh, noodle is fried. Yeah. It's like better and then they pour the gravy in, yeah. and then it starts to sizzle up. You have to like mix some flavor on in it. If this one, it's a fish, fish sauce. sauce. You put okay. some fish sauce and then uh, chili powder. And chili powder. Alright, so that's a little bit. The version of little bit is a bit from my definition. Right. Oh, it's very flavorful. How do you like it? You get the pepper huh? and like the uh, the texture between like the fried the fried noodles and the gravy is really nice. It's very good, but the wait is so long. Yeah, but never come here in Monday. On Monday, why? Not open? Not open. Never Monday. This one is a special sauce for suki. Oh, this one has, has sauce yeah. as well. So suki is like you were saying that it's like a Thai. Uh, Sukiyaki, mm -hmm. but the Thai version. Yeah. Oh. Is it spicy? It's like a fermented bean paste sauce. It's a, a bit more than a bit spicy. <laughs> yeah, don't put too much, but yeah, it goes really well with the, the glass noodle. And lastly, this, do you need to add it's a this? It's a fish noodle. It's a fish noodle. In Thai, we call it talo because they have the snack that made from uh, fish noodle. Uh, it should be spicy. We it should be spicy also. Yeah. Oh, what a surprise. Everything is spicy here. Very lovely, very nice. Worth the wait, worth the wait. It's freaking crowded here. I think definitely the, the lana has the most flavor, right? It, it has great contrast uh, between the textures of like the crispy, crispiness in the noodle and the sauce itself. If you want it saltier, you can add the fish sauce as well, but uh, definitely this is the star dish to order when you come here. So yeah, check it out. And let's head to the next place. So we are here at Wan Kuei Sap, also known as uh, Cinema Kuei Sap. Yes. The really old cinema, but now they're still using okay. that as a cinema. But now it's uh, very popular for Kuei Sap. The mm. queue is, wow, very long. You can smell like the, the peppery yeah, flavor yeah, from yeah. the Kuei Sap. So it comes with the rice noodles. There's pork belly as well. This is like yeah. a, a full plate of just crispy pork belly. It comes with all the entrails. Okay, let's try it. Yep. Oh, the soup is very peppery and, and you get all the uh, spring onions. So it gets a bit of a refreshing taste to the peppery soup. And this Kuei Sap, like, is it's a bit different from like the Singapore one where it's like all flat out. I think it got popularized because like uh, Michelin also featured this this Kuei Sap place. So you can have like the crispy pork belly in the soup itself or just order it by itself. Very crispy skin, but it's kind of been sitting there like it feels like room temperature, but still very flavorful. Although it's very hot in Bangkok, but if you are so sick of all the grilled and fried food, like you, this is like a really good soup option. Just the thing. That pepper is hot. Yeah, just and weak. Thing. Let's move on to the next stop in Chinatown where it has a lot of good food. Okay, so where are we now? We're in uh, Liu, Los Dak. That's for the noodle and dark Los Dak. For Rosa. Also, the queue is quite long. If you want to skip the queue, you can try to order through Line Man and get it delivered to your house instead. Uh -huh. You can also order Line Man through Shop Bag and then you can get cash back. So it's like extra yeah. bonus for you. So okay, let's try this. Mm. Oh, get this initial like ginger taste. It's quite sweet. The noodles are very springy. Oh wow. The duck is very, very fat. Not the healthiest thing, but it tastes damn good. The skin is really thin on the wonton. There's like a whole prawn inside. There's like some pork as well. Not a great find. Let's head on to the next place. Yeah, let's go. So we are at the <laughs> bread stall from Yara. Yeah, that's actually the name of the, the yes, stall. Yes. What it says on the stall. Yeah, they make the bread really crispy from the outside. Okay. And still soft in the inside. And it comes with like different kinds of uh, sauce. Yes. All right. Ready? Okay, yeah. yeah cheers. First. Bread cheers. <laughs> it's like marshmallow. Okay, this, this is not... Okay, it's kind of like milk, but it's like more like marshmallow texture and it's dripping all oh. my hands. It's very crispy as well. Ah. After this. <laughs> Check it out when you are in Yawarat. Yawarat bread stall. Yeah. That's why it's called. You'll, you'll see it from the long queue and like the, the bread they're making. Mm. So we've come to the end of our Yawarat food tour. Thanks to Golf You're and Shockback for showing uh -huh. us around. Just be prepared to queue, come early. Chinatown only starts around like... Uh, six, something uh, like uh, six. The five, yeah, five, five six. But like the queue's already formed way before that. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment down below. Comment if you try any of the food. Ah. I'll see you next time. See you next time.